What's up, man? It's Body, Body Rock Beats, whatever the fuck you want to call me. <laughs> I see, I'm wondering, like, should I be too vulgar, though? Hell yeah, nigga. Yo, welcome to the Body Rock Beat Show. Today, we got something to react to. This really is interesting. It hits home because I, I know the two individuals um, in this video. So, my boy sent me this video. And basically said, yo, you got to see this. You got to react to it. Um, so we finna do that. Let's go. My son Zachary came to me and he told me that his wife was abusing drugs and having extramarital affairs. I said to him, you trust me. Why are you accusing me? He would come home from work paranoid. He would do perimeter checks of our home. When I tried to let Zachary... Now right off the bat, man, the way they, you know, showing him looking around like he's some kind of psycho. TV is hilarious, man. You know that there's no way possible that this could be happening. He just looks at me and he's like, Mom, you know, you know it's true. He's accused me of molesting my nephew, of doing drugs, online dating. My son thinks that my daughter-in-law has slept with 170 plus people. Which include his father, my father, my brother. We recently took our children to the White House. Whoa, her brother? Bro, that's incest. And then he started accusing me of having affairs with Presidents Obama, Trump, and Biden. Zachary believes that there is a motorcycle club forcing us to... Yo. Let's keep watching. Sleep with men from the motorcycle club, and I recruited Samantha into the club and then Samantha would sleep with the men instead of me. And that I get paid for it. Zachary gets really upset with me because I stick up for Samantha. I'm not betraying. So he thinks his wife's an escort. Why didn't they just say he thinks his wife's an escort? I know. But we've literally just had this discussion and the whole time you never once took my side. Why do you stick up for Samantha and not your son? And, and where's Zach's dad? See, here's the thing. I know Zach, but it's been some years. I'm gonna try to find, I wanna see if I can get in contact with him. But, well, like, where is his dad? And what What do you mean you're taking her side over him? Let's, let me see. Literally just had this discussion and the whole time you never once took my side. You're asking me. See, that's a problem. Me to believe something that I don't believe. If I my son told me the sky was red, Sky's red. It makes me angry. That part I don't agree with, but I feel I feel what he's saying. Agree. And it makes me feel sick and really sad that he actually believes that I'm doing these things. Zachary Wolf. Okay, so first thing that comes to mind is what did you do to make him think this? Or what did he perceive you as doing to suggest this? have to leave the house if he can't get better and he doesn't agree to get treatment at this point. I wish. What do you mean he has to leave the house? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Why? Hang, does he, does the mother live with them? I need to, I need to understand this. Does the mother live with them? Because how can she dictate what happens in his house? Wish I had a partner to be there for me. She wish she had a partner to be there for her. But I don't have that right now. Does he have a partner being there for him? He thinks you're cheating. What did you do to make him think that you're cheating? That's what I need. That's what I'm trying to find out. To make my child leave his home, it will absolutely devastate me. It's going to hurt. Wait, 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 wait. To make my child what? Leave his home, it will absolutely devastate me. How can you, did you hear what she just said? To make my child leave his home. How can you make your child leave his home? It's his home. It will absolutely devastate me. It's going to hurt. I'm going to be honest. The mom shouldn't even be involved. Zach, you're a grown ass man. Why is the mom even involved in this? It's you and your wife. 
Okay, Samantha, Crystal, I'm glad that you guys are here. You're dealing with a very difficult situation. It's, it's so crazy looking at this because they both look the fucking same, bro. Situation. Now, Crystal, did, did Zachary ever show any unusual thinking, any unusual mental emotional adjustment as he was growing up or at any time prior to this episode that we're dealing with now? No, Zachary was very, he was just a very, you know, normal child. He was always very family oriented. He, you know, was very, we were very, we had a very open relationship. We've never had any, we've never had any secrets with one another. We've just been a very close mom-son relationship. No atypical thinking, no what most people would describe as paranoia, suspiciousness, ideas of persecution by others. Not at all. Nothing like that. Did you ever notice anything like that before this episode started? I did not, no. No. So what does that tell you? He's been normal up until a certain point, and now he's not. So what happened? They're not they're not addressing what was the what was the pivotal event that made him feel like, oh, I think my wife's fucking. No, we had a very normal relationship he was a he was a great dad to our then two children um we, we could do normal things together we could go to the grocery store together we could we could be a normal couple together right because now he's talking about very wild accusations he believes that you have had affairs with three presidents correct he does, yes he believes that i have had affairs with presidents obama trump and Biden, and Biden shook his hand and said, thank you for sharing your wife with me at his place. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I'm not trying to laugh, but that was kind of funny, bro. Thank you for sharing your wife with me? Yo. Bro. Place of employment. Now, what is this about a motorcycle club or gang? So he, he believes in his head that the reason I am doing, I'm having these affairs, is that there's a motorcycle club that is trying to initiate him to be a part of this club. And he believes that in order for him to be a part of this club, that they are making his wife sleep with anyone and everyone. They're making, they're, his mom's involved in it. Every single person that we see. I don't like that little smirk the mom made. <laughs> that was kind of weird, I'm not gonna lie. The gas station and the clerk, that person he'll tell me in the car is involved. Okay, and he thinks that you're doing all this sleeping to keep you from having to do it, correct? Correct, yes. I recruited her into the club to, to do these things for me so that I don't have to do them. Zachary Quidditch. But, but they said at the beginning for money. So he thinks his mom and his girl is an escort. Wow job because he believes I've slept with everybody and he couldn't function because he was having these thoughts that the people he was with have been with his wife. Zachary. Okay, I see what's going on. No further questions. I've cracked the case. Dr. Phil, stand aside. Dr. Body, crack the case. I have cracked the case. Okay, let's rewind what she just said. Listen. Every single person that we see, I'll go to the gas station and the clerk, that person he'll tell me in the car is involved. Okay, and he thinks that you're doing all this sleeping to keep you from having to do it, correct? Correct, yes. I recruited her into the club to, to do these things for me so that I don't have to do them. Zachary quit his job because he believes I've slept with everybody and he couldn't. First of all, Zach, brother, you do not quit your job over a woman. Regardless of what she's doing, you have kids, bro, and you have yourself to take care of. You don't quit your job, bruh. But listen to, listen to this part. Couldn't function because he was having these thoughts that the people he was with have been with his wife. Zach Boom. Here's what I think is going on. He caught her doing something. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it was a text message. I don't know if he went through her phone. I don't know if he went through her computer. I don't know if he caught her fucking. 
he caught her doing something and it has sent him into complete pandemonium. Listen, when, when a man thinks his wife is doing something, paranoia sets in. And so you might think he sounds crazy. Now, the president shit, that's getting a little wild. But I'm not surprised because you can you can be sent to thinking some crazy ass thoughts. Will Smith. I, I'm sorry, but I have to bring it up because there's a lot of parallels between this situation and Will and Jada. You know, um, listen, when you're with, when, when you're with the wrong woman. Your mind's going to be all fucked up. The minute he started thinking she was doing something, he should have left. The fact that he's staying and he does listen, staying with an untrustworthy woman is going to drive you nuts. You need to leave her. Greed claims he can't look for new employment because the internet is tracked and that the club will put him in a job where I will have to sleep with all of the people at the new job. Translation, bitch, if I get a new job, I think you're going to fuck somebody. He has basically said that he thinks that uh, this motorcycle club wants to build your baby into a soldier and that the doctors are part of a conspiracy. That's correct. Uh, yes. to, to get that done. He's actually started talking to the children and told them that you've dangled them over a bridge. He has, we, yes. We, he told our three-year-old one day we were driving over a bridge to drop her off at a babysitter's house, and he said... Hey, do you remember that time that mommy hung you and your brother off the bridge and the cops had to come and save you from mommy? Mm hmm. Had this. And what did the kids say? Behavior started when um, you got pregnant the third time? It was already happening when I was pregnant the third time. For the, for the longest time when I was pregnant, he told me that I was faking my pregnancy and I wasn't really pregnant. And because of COVID, he couldn't come to my appointments with me, but I'd give him a scan and he'd tell me that's fake. Anyone can create that on the internet. So he didn't even believe it. Okay, let me tell you what's going on. He's convinced his wife is cheating. So of course he doesn't. Listen, once you don't believe, once you don't trust your, your wife, bro, you're not going to believe anything she says. Of course he doesn't believe you're really pregnant. You must have lied to him and now he just can't trust anything. A man does not just wake up after 10 years of marriage and say, you know what? I don't trust you. No. Something happened. And I don't know, you know, for Dr. Phil to be a, 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 a licensed psychologist and not asking a simple question... Was there an event? Was there a catalyst? What provoked this? Was there an event that took place? Did you look through your phone? Um, you know, do you have guy friends that maybe he's uncomfortable with you hanging around and he's misinterpreting the relationship? What is contributing to this? Men don't just wake up like, I think you're fucking somebody. What we do is we see something and we be like, something ain't right there. But here's the difference between what we would call a blue pill man and a red pill man. The blue pill man is going to stick around. I don't trust my wife, but I'm going to still stay. The red pill man, look, I don't trust her. I'm out. Zach, if you really don't trust her, bro, leave. You don't need Dr. Phil. You damn sure don't need your fucking mama. Get your mom out of your business. For, listen, get your mother out of your business completely. You're a grown man. She's talking about, I'm going to throw my son out of his house? How's that possible? How's that possible? I need to call my boy, man. I was pregnant. And, 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 and Dr. Phil is not asking enough 
questions for me. He's not digging enough at her. He's just spinning, you know, he's going all the way like something's wrong with him, you know. And, and listen, we know how outlandish the claims are as far as, oh, she's messing with the president, right? I mean, he, his ass can barely put a sentence together. How's he fucking your wife, right? But it's, he's missing the point. What caused you to think your wife was unfaithful? What was the catalyst? How are you a clinical licensed psychologist and you're not asking basic questions? I was happy in the early part of my marriage, definitely. Being a dad. He just said he was happy in the earlier part of his marriage. That for me is awesome. It's the best part of my life. Sorry to get emotional with that. My kids, you know? He gets emotional. He's a good father. He's a real father. I know this man. You know? Probably because they're like the main reason I'm here because I want them to have the best life they can. And lately, that's not what they've been getting. In the last year, I noticed Samantha was working longer hours than usual. Bingo. I didn't hear Dr. Phil even mention that she was working. Working longer hours than usual. There you go. There you go. And she's probably been gaslighting the shit out of him. And it drove him to insanity. Listen, y'all saw the Oscars. If you don't think a woman can drive you to insanity, you're not paying attention. And then I noticed her behavior start to change. He noticed her behavior started to change. And she was becoming someone else. I think my wife was having affairs with people from the dating app. And then right there. People from the dating app. What dating app? I didn't hear Dr. Phil mention, I didn't hear him say, so what, what are these dating apps you're using? I didn't hear that. What dating app? What is she using? Is she on Tinder? What is a married woman doing on a dating app? Return, she was blackmailed into having sex with my family members. I quit my job because I'm... She was blackmailed into having sex with my family members. So wait a second. Is he trying to say she she was she was fucking on the dating app? Members of his family knew and said, I'll tell Zach if you don't fuck me. Oh my god. And 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 you may think that sounds crazy, but I know a guy. I, I know some dudes who, do. matter of fact, I know a, f I know a few groups of people who have done these type of things. Oh, you want to get back with my boy? I'll put a good word in for you, but you got to suck my dick. You want to get you you want you want my cousin to take you back? You got to fuck me. You want me to put in a good word for you to get? You got to fuck me. These things do happen. I'm not saying this is true, but men will blackmail a woman to try to get some ass. I believe she was having affairs with people that I worked with. People that he worked with. Now you can see why he's so fucking crazy. <laughs> I'm sorry. Not that you're crazy, Zach. But now you can see why she sent him to this place, bro. He doesn't trust her. But again, you're not going to tell me she's just been sitting in her room, reading her Bible like an angel. And here comes Zach huffing and puffing. Bitch, you cheating. No, I'm not buying that. We're just finding out she's been working long at longer hours and shit. What's up with that? I didn't hear Dr. Phil question that. Let's keep going. I, I believe she had 170 partners. God damn, 170? Where did that number come from? 170 flat? She didn't want to hit 200? I mean, where does this number come from? Makes me angry. Whoa, 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 whoa. You counted? My nigga, you counted? You counted the number of penises? We're gonna get through this, brother. A bit of, like, embarrassed. She claims you accused her of cheating with presidents. Yeah, I'm not talking about that. Can we circle back to that? I'm not talking about that. I'll swing and miss on this woman. Deny that and just go next. I'm not talking about that. Next. Oh shit. He said we ain't talking about that. 
This isn't No, wait, wait. You know what that probably is? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Calm down. Calm down. You know what that probably is? He's sitting there arguing with her. You fucking, yes you are. You fuck you, you you cheating on me. No, I'm not, no, I'm not. Da, da, da. Shit, bitch. You probably fucking the president. You probably fucked Obama and Joe Biden. That's I think that's just heat of the moment anger. I don't think he calmly was sitting down drinking a coffee and said, you know, Samantha, I think you fucked Barack Obama. And I think Joe Biden drove from DC to Fredericksburg for her. No disrespect. She's a nice looking MILF, but um <laughs> politicians have elite level, allegedly, elite level escort services right there in DC. They don't gotta drive to Fredericksburg to sleep with a single mom to sleep with a a, a a pregnant woman with kids. You know what I mean? Like that's not I, mean, I could be wrong. Joe Biden is a weirdo. Let's keep going. It's gonna work if you're not honest with them. So Can't trust no Democrat. Let's keep going. I agree. That's why we're here. Because <laughs> you ain't f***ing honest. Boom. That's why we're here. Because you ain't fucking honest. There it is. I heard everything I need to know. She's been dishonest. He doesn't have the balls to leave his dishonest wife. And it has drove him nuts. My nigga Zach does not have the balls to leave his crazy ass wife. And it's driving him crazy. Any further questions? We don't need to watch this whole video. We can, but we really don't need to. My nigga got a crazy wife. He doesn't trust her. She's lying. She's gaslighting. She's fucking. She's on dating apps. And instead of just grabbing his nuts and leaving, he stayed. What do you mean? Do you realize that the things that you think that I have done aren't very realistic, like sleeping with presidents. That right there, what she's doing is gaslighting. Yes, the president's part, that's crazy. But what led up to it? How about the dating apps? Were you on dating apps or not? I need somebody. Let me interrogate. Let me, let, let me interrogate the bitch. Can we do that? Can I interrogate the bitch? Can I do that? Let body... Rock, interrogate the bitch. Let me do this. Dr. Phil is not qualified for this job. Well, uh, uh, you're hearing voices and when, when did you stop? He's not even asking logical questions. When did it start? What did she do to make you think this? Bitch, were you on dating apps? Have you fuck? He hasn't even asked her. He has still not even asked her, have you? ever cheated on Zachary? Have you ever texted another? Have you, have you, have you had any communication with a man outside of your husband, non-platonically? Ha has he caught you texting somebody? Have you been in the DMs? See, I guarantee you, he found something, bro. I'm gonna call him, I'm gonna hit my nigga. We gonna, we gonna get to the bottom of this. I don't know what you're talking about. When I say that you have told me I had an affair with President Biden. You're f***ing lying. And I've slept with your dad. He was mad as shit when he said it, probably. he See, he says you're fucking lying because he was so mad, he probably don't even remember saying that shit. You know when you be so heated, you say some crazy shit? You know, fuck you. I wish we were never friends. I wish I never met you. Fuck you. You don't mean that shit. He's been driven to a panic state. He's in pure pandemonium because he doesn't trust his wife, but he doesn't have the nuts to leave. I need all the married men and men in relationships to listen to me. You don't hit women. You don't accuse them of fucking presidents. You grab your nuts, however big they are, and you fucking leave. Are we clear on that? Leave. It amazes me how married men can do everything under the goddamn sun except leave the bitch. You niggas can do everything but leave the bitch. Leave. Leave. You don't trust her. You think she's... 
You think she's fucking a 90 year old Democrat, an idiot who can't even put words together. Leave the bitch now, Zach. Save yourself. I gotta, I gotta call my nigga because this, I may be the only person who can save Zach. Zach, I'm coming for you, my nigga. I'm gonna pick you up. We gonna roll some weed. I got you, my nigga. I'm let let your homie come rescue you and let me interrogate the bitch. We'll get to the bottom of this. I <laughs> and I've slept with your. Hey, I need a State Farm commercial. Is your bitch in good hands? We'll get to the bottom of this. Grandfather. I don't know what you And did. your uncles. That yo, her, your grand, yo. Gross. It is gross. Well, it should be ashamed. I'm not ashamed because I haven't done those. Okay, take a line. Take Ooh, who heard that? I haven't done those. Who heard that? I haven't done those. Do you know what that means? I didn't sleep with them, but she slept with somebody. Let's rewind it. See, you, you got to learn that when you listen, you got to learn to, to read between the lines and connect shit, especially when you're listening to women. They speak in innuendos. It's like fucking verbal judo. It's kung fu. You, you got to piece this shit together. Did you hear what she just said? Let's 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 play. Father. I don't know what you And did. your uncles. It's gross. It is gross. Well, you should be ashamed. I'm not ashamed because I haven't done those. <laughs> I haven't done those. Translation: I didn't fuck the president and your grandfather, but Bradley off Tinder and Joseph off Plenty of Fish. And Richard from your job. Oh shit. Okay, take a lie detector test. I take a lie detector test. No problem taking a lie detector test. I'm done with this. I'm done. I have been evaluated by a doctor. No, do not take a lie detector test. Let Body Rock interrogate the bitch. Multiple times. All to go to prove that I wasn't crazy. Zach. Okay, so he's been evaluated and he's not crazy. Zachary went in and said that we were having marital problems and they just discharged him and referred him to marital counseling. Bingo, he's been discharged and released to marital counseling. There is nothing wrong with this man. He is a husband who thinks his wife's cheating and it has sent him to the fucking moon. Nothing to see here, people. We have a man who doesn't trust his wife but isn't man enough to leave. Zach, I love you, bro. Hopefully we can chop it. But my nigga, you need to grab your hairy nuts and exit. I, I don't want to hear about she's going to take half the bread. I don't want to hear about custody of your kids. It's too late. You should have never got legally married, to be honest. You're going to... I'm sorry. She's going to take half your benefits. If you get disability, she's going to take half that. She's going to take half your education benefits. Woo! Shit. Maybe that's why he didn't leave. I need I need to talk to Zach, bro. The second time he checked himself out after a week of treatment against medical advice. I mean, they prescribed me medicine. And I didn't like how I felt. Stopped using them. They prescribed him medicine. <laughs> this is crazy. So your wife's cheating. First of all, who the fuck's idea was it to send you to get this medical evaluation? That's how hard a woman can gaslight you. I'm not cheating. Go check yourself into a clinic. A clinic, Bro, you're not crazy. You just don't trust her. And trust is a precursor to marriage. If you don't trust her, you can't be with her. Leave. I believe everything can be solved by talking. This is Dr. Charles Sophie. Dr. Sophie really works a lot with... <sighs> Dr. Phil is so incompetent, he went and got some other fucking doctor.
What the? Aren't you Dr. Phil? Why are you outsourcing and get other doctors? The brain and emotions and perceptions and all. What, what do you think about that? They're about, to, they're about to nuke this. In the Navy, we have the term for that. They're about to nuke the shit out of all of this, bro. Yes. Well, first of all, thank you for being open to talk. Which means completely overthink and blow out of proportion. Talk to us. Do you have this everywhere in your life, or is it just about your wife? Did you, <sighs> Did you not hear the man was discharged and sent to marital counseling? He's not a nut job. Does this happen everywhere in your life? Yeah, sometimes I think my toilet paper's talking to me. What the fuck? Again, who, who is this guy? Who is this guy y'all brought in? He didn't even go off his credentials. What, what makes this guy qualified to, to tell Zach something? You have issues at your job. You have issues with feeling safe, people following you, any of that stuff? As far as feeling safe, um, I can I can handle my own, so I don't ever really feel like endangered or threatened. You don't check behind you a lot, or I mean, I do. Do you? But I think that's kind of. Um... You don't check behind you a lot, do you? Let me tell you something. I live in L.A. My head is on a swivel. I don't know what these niggas is on. Expect it from like my time in service. But do you ever hear voices that you don't can't account for? Or some Absolutely reason voices not. Hear? And do you wake up? And do you ever hear vo Do you ever hear voices you can't account for? Are you fucking serious? See, this is what I'm talking about. European academia is not indicative of intelligence or competence. Let me say that again. European academia is not indicative of intelligence or competence. You can be a fucking idiot who went to an Ivy League fucking school, paid for by mom and dad. You did your little homework. You graduated. You walk into a job. And now people are supposed to listen to you. This guy's an idiot. Let me interrogate the bitch. And let me chop with what my niggas at. One day, like, believing things had changed in your life, or did it come on? Child and family psychiatrist, Dr. Charles Sophie. Slowly. I put it like this. Like After this, I'm gonna check his credentials. It was kind of like a crawl stage. Like I started noticing certain things, but we skipped the walk and went straight to running. Mm -hmm. So it accepted. Bingo. So he didn't just wake up and, oh my God, I think she's doing something. He said it was a crawl stage, meaning he probably saw some shit. It was a crawl stage, it was slow, it was gradual. And then it took off. But even them hearing that, I expect somebody to say, okay, talk to me about this crawl stage. What was the first step? The first step of the crawl. Let's see if they're competent. Accelerated. Yeah, absolutely. Did you ever want to hurt yourself? No. Hurt other people? Oh my fucking God. The man thinks his wife's cheating. He doesn't want to fucking die. This is... This is why I have to smoke weed, because people ask stupid fucking questions. Even doctors. Yeah, I have, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, I want to hurt other people sometimes. Niggas get on my nerves. What are you, what are you talking about? You ever seen people drive? Yes, I want to hurt people sometimes. I think that's human nature for... Thank you, Zach. That's human nature. Zach, we don't need these people. Chop it with your boy and let me interrogate the bitch. Or male nature for someone in my position. In your position, you mean the way... The way I... I you know what? This guy, Zach, is completely coherent. He's making, he's making more sense than the doctors. He said, I think it makes sense. And there's a, man, a male in my position. He sounds more logical than the doctors. The way I'm perceiving things. Yeah, I'll use that word, the way I'm perceiving it or whatever. Are you okay? And they're still, the way you're perceiving things. They're still trying to convince him he's not in reality. This isn't real, Zach. It was an illusion. Are you open to thinking that you could 
mis be misperceiving or no? What is there to misperceive about your wife doing dicks? Can oral sex be misconceived, misperceived? They still have not asked about the dating apps. They still have not asked her, has she cheated? This is a mockery and this is goofy. This is, this is goofy. I think there's a chance for human error, so to speak, but I don't, to me, it's 100% real. Do you? It's 100% real. And they won't just say, okay, let's put aside the presidents for now. What was the first thing you caught her doing? What was it? Can you show us some text messages? Can you show us phone conversations? Did you record some? Did you catch some? What is, what was the catalyst? They're not even asking. Or do you hear things? Do you ever play with your butt at night? What the fuck are y'all? Calm down. Any drugs or alcohol? Uh, I smoke some. Oh, do you use any drugs or alcohol? So now he's on crack because he thinks his wife's fucking. Wow. I one in the past, but not currently. Alcohol, I'll have. We know you used to smoke, Zach. <laughs> One or two drinks. <laughs> we, 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 we got some, you know what I'm saying? We know you used to smoke, my dude. One or two drinks here and there, but never, like, I don't drink daily or even weekly. And how about? So he's a normal guy. Prescription drugs. Um, probably about. You stopped Adderall? Two, yeah, about two and a half months ago. You stopped Adderall two and a half months ago? Yeah, but I also, there's a break in between that too. Like, I stopped for a couple months and then <clears throat> started again, and then I stopped again. If you heard about a neighbor that told you that they had a baby in the hospital that was being turned into a soldier, would you think that was weird? Yeah, I would think it was pretty bizarre. Yeah, absolutely. If you had a neighbor that said three presidents had gone by their work to thank them for sharing their wife, would you believe them? I wouldn't discredit someone just because, you know what I mean? Like, you don't, you don't know. I, I got to say, I mean, as bizarre as it sounds, you don't know. You don't know. But again... I think he has been driven to this state by her and by the relationship. Listen, men have never been taught how to leave a woman. I, I don't, I don't think like this might be bizarre to most women to hear, but most men do not have the strength to leave a woman. Especially, he's been with her, what, eight years, going on 10, whatever the fuck? I don't think he has the balls to leave. And then when you add marriage and kids, everybody knows what happens to men in divorces. You're fucked. And did a president come by your work? Yes. Was it President Biden? Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. President Biden, the man who can barely put a sentence together, has been giving your wife back shots. Joe Biden, the man who's falling going up the stairs. Is donkey fucking your bitch? Jesus, we're ready. Come on down. The trumpets. All we ready. Joe Biden out here fucking niggas hoes. We re we ready, Lord. Take us. So there would be other people that saw him there, right? Yeah. So if 30 other people said, no, you didn't come by here, 
How would you reconcile that in your mind that you saw him and nobody else did? You want the honest truth? Yeah. They're fine. That's what I would say, to be honest. If I could show you that President Biden was somewhere else on. See, this is what happens. Once, once the seed is planted, see, don't look at the, don't look at the tree. Let's deal with the seed. Once that seed was planted in this man's mind, it grew into a fucking rainforest. It grew into a fucking rainforest. He is in the tropical Amazon. He is in the Amazon right now. He with Toucan Sam and all them right now. He cannot differentiate what's going on because he's been driven to this state by that woman. Being mesmerized by her, her box has this man perplexed. He's in another galaxy. He's left the Milky Way. It's over. Men, because we might not be able to save Zach. He may be done. If you are listening to me, if you can hear my voice, I need you to hear me very clearly. Do not wait to be on Dr. Phil or to be pimp slapping niggas at the Oscars to leave your raggedy fucking wife. Let's keep going. The day you believe he came by to see you, if I could show you, um, he couldn't have been there because I got him here on film in front of the Congress that day. Listen, there's nothing you're going to be able to tell him because he'll just be he'll just say, well, he did that in front of Congress and then he drove to Fredericksburg. Once a man, once that seed has planted and it's sprouted, you can't tell him shit. It's over. The only solution is to leave because I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. Listen, Zach, I'm talking to Zach now. Fuck this video. Listen, Zach. Okay. She's monkey branching as we speak. She's trying to find a suitable stepdad as we speak. So um, you need to leave before she does, brother. They got you looking crazy. Um, you you, you got to go, bro. You got to grow. You got to put yourself back together. You got to you got to get back to being Zach. And never let this happen again. And anytime, I'm, I'm going to keep repeating this, have the balls to leave. Not just a woman, anything, anyone. Your job's mistreating you, grab your nuts and go. Go. Stop sticking around people that aren't good for you and waiting until you develop a psychological illness from being around, listen, I'm going to tell you right now, if you're around people that aren't good for you, you will go crazy. You will go fucking crazy. You cannot have a toxic marriage and, and be around toxic people and be around a gaslighter that's lying. Who knows what she, she might be a, nar she might be a full-blown narcissist. <gasps> Excuse me. She may be a succubus. Who knows? Get away from her. Whatever she is, she's driving him the fuck nuts. It's not, he doesn't need help. He's been evaluated by a doctor and he's fine. He's currently being evaluated by dumbasses. And so do you ever hear voices at night, Zachary? Do you ever play with your balls and tug on your ear a little bit? What the fuck are you talking about, Phil? What the fuck are you talking about? The dumbest questions they're asking this dude, man. What would it mean to me? Um, would you then question, you know, maybe I'm not. They have not questioned her at all. They, no one has even said, yo, listen, Samantha, we're not judging you. Just be honest with us because we're just trying to, we're just trying to help. Have you ever, even just once, have you ever had an affair on your husband? 
They have not even asked that. This is killing me. Remembering things right. Maybe I'm not seeing things right. They're asking him if he's, they're asking him all kind of shit. You haven't even asked her a simple question. Have you ever cheated? Put the presidents to the side. <laughs> the fact that, have you fucked anyone? Here, here. Dial it back some more. We don't even have to ask that. Do, have you, have you ever been on a dating app? Ask her that. Have you ever been on POF? Have you ever been on Tinder? Have you ever been on Hinge? Have you ever thrown that ass on Bumble? Do you have an OnlyFans? <laughs> These are quite... <sighs> Hire me to interrogate your bitch, please. These goofies don't know what to ask. They blue pill. They old. It's... Dr. Phil probably don't even know if his wife is fucking around on... <sighs> Zach, call your boy, man. I don't know. Yeah, everything can be altered. Sure. Everything can be altered. So there's nothing you can tell him. That woman's cheating and he sold on it. End of story. End of story. And how are y'all not even asking her the uh, just simple questions? Have you ever even thought about having an affair? Have any men tried to come on to you and Zach saw that and that's making him... Do you got when you guys go out in public, do men hit on you in front of him? Is that what's happening? What is the fucking catalyst? We have two clinical psychologists here and they don't seem to be asking anything relevant. Sure. I mean, I'm not like trying to sound paranoid or any of that. I'm just saying like in, in all honesty, the government I used to work in the go or whatever, but we're not 100% honest about everything. Yeah, wouldn't it be a huge relief if you found out whew, I was wrong? <laughs> what kind of question is that, Uncle? <laughs> I almost called him Uncle Phil. <laughs> what kind of question is that, Doctor Phil? Wouldn't this be great if your wife wasn't fucking? Yeah, dummy, I wouldn't be on your show. What the fuck? She's not sleeping with all these other people. Wouldn't it be great if your wife didn't have cock in her mouth? Would that be nice? The fuck kind of question is that? And none of this other stuff about that is true. There's an explanation for it. Wouldn't that be a huge relief? I mean, yeah, absolutely. But at the same time, I just screwed everything up then. Or like, I just caused a bunch of damage for no reason. But that'd be fixable. Right. Let's talk about- the How you know that's fixable? How you know that's fixable? And it's, uh, I'm trying to have the benefit of the doubt, but I don't really trust her. I'm just being honest. I don't, I, I, I'm getting weird vibes on something. When she said those, nah, bro. The real world. You have to protect those children. Right. I do. That. Did y'all just catch that? He just spun this whole thing now like he's an abuser. L let, let, me, let me make sure I just heard that correctly. Let's talk about the real world. The real world. You have to protect those children. Right. I do. That man is a danger to these children. Wait a second. So if I suspect my wife to be engaging in infidelity, I can't be trusted around my children? Did... Did, any, did anybody just see how he spun that? I didn't hear this man beats his kids. I didn't hear that. I didn't hear that he's an abuser. How is he a danger to his kids? Because he, do, because, because he doesn't trust her or he's questioning her? Is that what they're trying to spin? 
Ladies, if your man suspects you of cheating, you can't trust him around your kids. Can't make this shit up. Right. He, is. he is unpredictable. He gets combative. And he is irrational. He gets combative? Y'all just saw this man sitting there talking. Did he sound combative? This man was sitting there whispering. No, I don't I don't think so. I well, uh I mean I'm not saying I'm paranoid, but what was combative about that? Did he stand up? Nigga, fuck you! What what was combative about him? This dude was talking calmly, damn near whispering. And hang on, Dr. Phil. Haven't you been accused of violating young girls? Cash me outside? Didn't she allege that you were sending underage girls to these weird camps and violating them? Didn't, ba didn't Bad Baby expose this man? Why are we listening to this dude? He's been alleged to be trafficking young girls and violating them. He sends these little girls to these camps. I, listen, I'm going by y'all's standards. Believe all women, right? This woman said he's trafficking young girls to, to some strange camp and doing God knows what to them. Are we going to believe women? Oh, but what? We don't like cash me outside, so we're not going to believe her. Y'all don't get to pick and choose. It's believe women or not. What are we doing? Those children cannot be exposed to him at this point. <laughs> Those children. <laughs> Those children cannot be exposed to him at this point. Yeah, he's going to he's going to he's going to kill his kids because he don't trust her. Okay, here's the question, Dr. Phil. If she is found guilty of fucking somebody, is she safe around the kids? And do you plan on asking, do you plan on interrogating her on anything? You just sat this man down and questioned his mental state, questioned if he's hearing things. He got to be schizophrenic because he thinks his wife's eating dick. This, this is asinine. It's just that simple. You know, Dr. Sophie has retired from the, the Department of Child and Family Services in L.A. County, which is the largest agency of its... He's so prestigious, but he couldn't even ask a basic question. What was the beginning? Where did this start? What was the catalyst? What's the root of the problem? What did you find? Did you find anything in her phone? What was the event? What was this black swan event that, that made you take this turn? But he's been 30 years. I don't give a fuck what he's been doing. He's trash. He ain't even asking the right questions. It's kind in the entire... But he's sitting here in a suit. He must know something. ...United States. Should he have access to those children? No. I mean, it's emotional abuse. <gasps> We're not safe, man. <laughs> it's over. It's done. It's over. We're not safe. It's emotional abuse. Did you just hear? You just heard him. You just heard him. It's emotional abuse. How dare you think your wife is fucking? You shouldn't be able to see your kids. Wow. It's emotional abuse. You can't make this shit up. All right, we only got a minute left. Let's finish this shit. I'm, I, I'm, let's finish this. It's just not safe, and you need to protect them because... If DCFS came out or Children's Services, they'd say neither one of you are protecting these kids and take them. Then why aren't you saying that? Neither one of you. See, Dr. Phil didn't say anything about her. He refuses to ask her anything. You don't want to lose your children. That's my biggest fear. You simply... <sighs> That's not your biggest fear. You can't risk the, the safety of these children. And that means, yo, you just brought this specialist on and he just told you if if CPS came out, they're going to say neither of you is fit to 
parent these kids. And he's going back and telling her, yeah, you got to get him away. Bro, the guy, the guy you outsourced, meaning he must know something you don't, is telling you neither of them are fit. And he's still like, well, no, she's fit. He has to be excluded from their lives until this gets under control, which I think it can. Yeah. You know, the best predictor of future behavior is relevant past behavior. And his immediate history predicts very unstable future. His long-term history predicts a very good future. We just need to get through this rough patch and get him settled down. Listen to how he's spinning that. We need to get him settled down. Like, like he's just choosing to be erratic for no reason. Again, no accountability on her behalf. We're saying he can't live there. We all share a house. We all live with my mother-in-law. Right. So you're saying that he needs to live. There's the fucking, oh my God, Zach. Oh, Zach, if you see this, bro, give me a fucking call, man. Hit me on Facebook, Instagram, something. At Body Rock, please hit me because, bro, my heart is hurting for you. What do you mean you're living with your wife's parents? Oh, wait, did she say his or her parents? Need to get through this rough patch and get him settled down. We're, we're saying he can't live there. We all share a house. We all live with my mother-in-law. Right. So you're saying mother-in-law. So, so that's his mother, Zach. You moved your wife and kids in with your fucking mom? That was the worst thing you could have ever done. And oh shit, I see what's going on now. I see what's going on now. And this is why you don't do what he did. <laughs> this is why you don't do that. They done teamed up on him. In the name of sisterhood feminism, his mom and his wife so so when he when he argues with his girl, she's just going to run up to the mom. And then now you got to fight both of them. This is why you don't put yourself in that scenario. Saying that he needs to leave and me and my kids get itched or you would leave. be best. Yeah, or you would Or the kids I leave, leave with the kids. Yeah. Yeah. I don't have to leave. He just Why does she, or I leave with the kids? Do you notice how in this society the kids always go with the mom? Even if she's being abusive, it's like, well, well, no, the kid's in the mom. And then we hear story after story from people about the shit that their mothers did to them, the abuse that their mothers did, the negligence that came from their mothers. And we still walk around like that's that's the viable solution. Oh, just take the kid, give the kids to the mother. Let a single mother raise these kids. The FBI already said the number one predictor of a criminal is no father in the household. So this, this, to act like this is not deliberate and to act like this is not an agenda, and I'm not talk, just talking about this, this, now I'm talking about the greater society at large and the culture of America as it pertains to men and men's rights and gender relations as a whole. We're so quick to just, oh, we'll just, like, oh, women are perfect and men are just these evil little dogs that, you know, we need to rescue the children from. Here we have a veteran, a service member, a father, a husband, a good man saying, I don't trust my wife. I think she's doing something. And your response is, yeah, we think you're crazy and you're not fit to be around your kids. Can't make this shit up. Can't coexist with them right now. My son thinks that my daughter-in-law has slept with 170 plus people. Which Why are you even involved? Your son is almost 30. Why are you on TV with eyeshadow? Why am I even looking at her? I'm starting not to like your mom, Zach. I'm sorry. Which include his father, my father, my brother. A delusional husband? Do you really think she's had sex with over a hundred people? Yeah. New Dr. Phil. Check your local listings. Damn. All right, y'all. This is part one. Uh, <laughs> I got to smoke a fucking blunt. This is, this is some crazy shit, bro. Oh.
Zach, my nigga, call me. <laughs> Zach, and look, if you see this, bro, send this to Zach. If you if you're friends with Zach on Facebook, send this to him. If you got Zach on IG somewhere, send this to him. I'm serious. This is not a listen. All jokes aside, I'm close the laptop. This is not a game. Do you understand men have killed themselves because they thought their wives were unfaithful? Like, this is not a joke. We just watched Will Smith be canceled, um, be, be booted from the Academy. Um, there, you know, there's talks of his Oscar being removed. There's talks of Chris Rock suing him to the tune of hundreds of millions. Um, and I think the Academy banned him for like 10 years. Bro, Will Smith is pushing 60. 10 years. He's not going to be able to, to make I, Robot at 70. He's not going to be able to make I Am Legend at 65. It's not going to happen. So this is a big deal. This next 10 years, and did you see how many movies he had in the works? They paused like 20 fucking movies. This next 10 years was going to be Will Smith's he was going to get his shit off, like on some Denzel. And now he can't. Over what? Over who? A woman he has no business being married to. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know in the comments. We out.